students let's see one word problem of quadratic equation now what the question says out of a group of students 7 by 2 times the square root of the number are plain the remaining two are certain what is the total number of students now this sum is a unique one because of this word square root let's see how this sum is unique slightly different than other normal word problems now what happens normally in any quadratic sum we always assume the parameter which we need to find out as x so if over here we need to find out total number of students normally we always go for let the number of students be x but in this particular sum we shall not go with this particular method why because of the word square root being there in this sum so what we do so is we start our sum as let the total number of students be x square normally we have let the total number of students be x but over here we have taken let the total number of students be x square why i'll make you understand it is only because of this word square root we'll see further let the total number of students be x square the next condition is 7 by 2 times the square root of the number are plain so number of students plain is 7 by 2 times the square root of the total number total number being x square the square root of x square happens to be x so we shall write down 7 by 2 x did you understood why we have taken now x square so that the square root of x square turns out to be x that was the reason instead of going for x we have gone for x square what is the next condition the remaining two are sitting so can i say number of students sitting is 2 so how we frame the equation as per the given condition how many students are playing 7 by 2 x how many are sitting plus 2 because we need to combine combine to get what combine to get the total number of students and our total number of students is nothing but x square our total number of students is nothing but x square Bring all the terms on one side so as to get a quadratic equation equal to zero format. So we say x squared minus 7 by 2 x minus 2 equals to zero. Since we have denominator may 2, we say multiply by 2 on both the sides. When we multiply by 2 on both the sides, I shall get 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 equals to 0. Now I hope my students are very much aware how to solve a quadratic equation. What is the sum we want? The sum over here we want is minus 7 and what shall be the product? Minus 4 into 2 which is minus 8. So the product over here is minus 8. This is not needed if you know how to factorize a quadratic equation. What are the two numbers which we get it? Absolutely correct. We get minus 8 plus 1. We shall write down the two factors as minus 8x, 8x plus 1x minus 4 equals to 0. Whereby which you can say minus 8 plus 1 is minus 7. Minus 8 into plus 1 is minus 8 which you wanted as a product. We further factorize it. What is common between the first two? 2x is common. x minus 4 plus 1 x minus 4 equals to 0. 2x plus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0 x equals to minus 1 by 2 because plus 1 and goes over there becomes minus 1 so x is minus 1 by 2 or x equals to 4 now x equals to minus 1 by 2 is not acceptable why because the number of children cannot be in fraction also and it cannot be negative also so what is our acceptable answer our acceptable answer is x equals to 4 we simply write down since x equals to minus half is not acceptable if you want you can always write down the reason also since number of students cannot be negative so what is the left answer x equals to 4 now unlike normal sums whereby which when we find out the value of x we say our sum is done 
but not over here, not over here. We got X as 4, but what is the total number of students? Yeah, the total number of students is X square and not X. So here say X square is equals to 16. As we stated, the total number of students to be X square and not X. So our final answer is not X, our final answer is X squared. X equals to 4, X squared is 16. So our final answer is, therefore, the total number of students. Total number of students is 16. I hope you have understood this particular question. We can see much and more such word problems in my next videos. Thank you.